Hi guys. So, a uh, little discussion. An- another very good question from An Academy's AIMT, All India Mock Test. So, this question says that how many natural numbers from one to thousand have exactly two prime factors and exactly twelve total factors? Okay. See, so t- uh, f- uh, to have exactly two prime factors and exactly twelve total pra- uh, factors, I should write like this. See, for example, if we have got twelve factors, so what is the uh, number it can get? Okay. So, for example, if we have got twelve factors, in one way I can write is any prime number raised to eleven. So, number can be of the form any prime number raised to eleven because any prime number raised to eleven will have eleven plus one twelve factors. Okay. But I need to break into two prime factors, right? So I cannot take this case here. Okay. So I need to write in terms of two prime factors, that is P one and P two. So I can break twelve because I need to find two prime factors p one and p two. I can break twelve as like four uh, into three. I can break, है ना? And I can also break twelve as into two prime factors is two into six. Okay. So now p one has got factor four, so power three. P two has got power factor three, so power two. Okay. That means any number of the form p one raised to three into p two is square. We'll have total twelve factors here. Okay, see, three plus one is four, and two plus one is three. Total twelve factors. Also, I can write here any number of the form p one uh, has got two factors of power one. P two has got six factors of power five. Okay, so already taught this concept in the in the at uh, in the Rodha factors you can search right. Okay, so now uh, this is another form of n here. So this is basically n, and this is also basically n. Okay. So there are two cases possible here, right? Now I need to find here that uh, it should have uh, n should be less than thousand. So let's take it. Take it first case. Take the first case here. Now because n is less than thousand, so if I take the first case that n is equal to some p one raised to three uh, into p two is square. How many cases are possible here? So I can write. I can start write, counting here. So start here, guys. Now it is p two square, no? So I can take some two is square. I can start with two is square into the cube of the number. See, two is square is basically four. So four into what number you can multiply to get till thousand? So I can multiply till two fifty. So two is square into three cube is fine because uh, it is just, it is less than two fifty. Two is square into five cube is fine, less than three fifty. Two is square into seven cube. I cannot take because seven cube is more than uh, three uh, two fifty. That is three forty three. It will exceed thousand. In this case, I won't take. Now start with three square. After two square, start with three square. Now, now again three square. Now start with three square. I have taken again. Again start with the lowest number, right? So three square. Then take two cube. So if it is three square, it is nine. So in nine, I can multiply with triple one to get near thousand. Okay. So triple one means two cube. I can take fine. Three square into five cube, I can take no five cube become one twenty five. Next prime number is not possible. Okay, this case is not possible. So with three square, only one number. Let's come with come to five square now. Five square into two square, uh, two cube, I can take yeah because five square twenty five and twenty five into forty will become thousand. So anything less than forty, I'm fine. Five square into two cube, I'm fine. Five square into three cube, I'm fine. Okay, because it will exceed, it will be less than forty, so less than thousand. Three cube will less than forty, so total product will be less than thousand. Okay, I can't take seven five cube seven cube because it exceeds forty, and if I take seven cube here, it will exceed five uh, one thousand. Okay, that is not possible. Now, now seven is square you can take, so seven is square is forty nine. So forty nine into somewhere around twenty is fine till it becomes uh, near two thousand. Okay, nine eighty. So twenty means I can take two cube. That's it. I can't take three cube because it will become twenty seven. Okay. After seven square, can I take eleven square? So eleven square is one twenty one. So one twenty one into two cube, I'm fine. Again, one twenty one into eight, it is fine. Okay. Now after that, it is not possible because if I take thirty square as one sixty nine, then into eight will exceed thousand. It is not possible. So only this many cases was possible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven cases are possible in the first part, right? Now let's look at second part now. Again, I know that n is less than thousand, and here I have a uh, n is equal to something like p2 raised to 5 p1 raised to 1 into p2 raised to 5 so start with uh, this 2 raised to 5 guys so i what i can take is in the first case i can take 2 raised to 5 so 2 raised to 5 is 32 32 into somewhere around i can take till 31 32 into 31 is yes around 31 will be less than 1000 okay 
because 32 into 32 is 1024 so i'm allowed to take till 31 year so 2 raised to 5 is here now i have to multiply is prime number single power that means i can multiply 3 i can multiply in 2 raised to 5 i can multiply 5 also i can multiply uh, 7 also till 31 i can multiply right so 7 11 13 17 19 23 29 and 31 so in 2 cube i can take this many numbers so 1 2 3 so 2 cube power 5 i can take this many numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so 10 are possible here okay now if i take here 3 raised to 5 so if i take here 3 raised to 5 so 3 raised to 5 is 243 so 3 raised to 5 into 2 i can take that's fine that is 686 into 5 i cannot take okay so only one number possible can i take here 5 raised to 5 so 5 raised to 5 will exceed 1000 so not possible so here 10 plus 1 total 11 number are possible so 11 here and 7 here total 11 plus 7 18 is the answer for this question okay so the funda behind this question is important okay so sometimes you need to count the cases this question i can uh, the funda is important even if it looks lengthy this question i can restrict and i can make it to basically uh, let's say 500 so this question becomes much smaller okay so th th that's how it just look at the practice part so don't look at the length part here length part here okay th that can be always made a smaller right okay so here one homework which i'll give you guys just answer in the comments okay a similar question n is less than 500 and n has two prime factors and exactly uh, let's say we have got 12 factors here so just change this uh, 12 factor I can change this to let's say uh, 10 factors exactly 10 factors okay so what is the answer you can just uh, write in the comments okay here's the question okay thank you guys see you in the next video